little sheet hidden away in my hands. The sheet that has all the numbers and the names that the editor gives me and says, right, go out there and do a series review. I love doing this and uh, oh, they've been told that you like hearing it as well. So here we go. The first name he's given me is, is someone we all love to talk about, Rohit Sharma. Now, one match winning innings at Port Elizabeth, that, that, was, that was a huge innings. It was, a, it was wonderful to watch and Rohit Sharma showed what he was capable of. But look at the rest of the numbers for Rohit Sharma. 170 in six innings, average 28, strike rate 83. Did Rohit Sharma do enough in this series? He showed us what he can do, but he wasn't quite able to turn South Africa around. Where I mean, it's a place where his average is very poor. And so, he's one of my favorite players. Rohit Sharma gets a six. Okay, let's move on then. Shikhar Dhawan. 323 runs in six innings. I'll tell you what, if Virat Kohli wasn't playing the series, you'd have looked at Shikhar Dhawan and said, wow, well played Shikhar Dhawan. He got a century, he got two fifties, he scored at a strike rate in excess of 100. And actually, if you look at that Port Elizabeth 100 that uh, Rohit Sharma got, it was Shikhar Dhawan who set him off with that magnificent start. What I enjoyed the most was his leg side shots. Normally, Shikhar Dhawan is fantastic through the offside. But there were the pull shots because he knew they were going to bounce him. I thought his pull shots in the last one day were fantastic. So what do we do with Shikhar Dhawan? Eight and a half. Why not nine? Why not nine and a half? Because I would have liked a couple of those fifties to become big hundreds. That is what Shikhar Dhawan is capable of doing. So eight and a half for Shikhar Dhawan. Then the man with the blue streak in his hair. No longer blonde but blue to show. Look, that's my color. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a true blue for India. Hardik Pandya was thrown into many situations. But as a batsman, he'll look back and say, no, I didn't have a great season because he made what? 26 runs at 8.66. You could argue that he didn't have enough time and he could argue that fairly. But in the time that he got, you expected a little bit more from Hardik Pandya. But India did one other thing. Once Kedar Jadha was injured, India did not replace him with someone else who could bowl a little bit or maybe picked another all-rounder or Akshar Patel. India told Hardik Pandya, listen, you have to give us 10 overs. And the moment that happened, Hardik Pandya started to bowl better and better. And I thought the development of Hardik Pandya as a bowler was actually one of the pluses on this tour. He's going to become a batting all-rounder is what we've all been saying. For the first time, I thought he started to stand up with his bowling. The slower the surface, the better he gets. The ball grips, the cutters, the bouncers, they all come in handy. So all things considered, 44 overs, economy rate of 4.9 for a fifth bowler is excellent. If he had batted a little bit more, maybe Hardik, but uh, six. Some of you might say, no, not six. I'm giving him six because he developed as a bowler. Okay, let's go on to the people who just made this such a memorable series and their numbers are astounding. No spinner has ever gone to South Africa and done as well as this partnership did. So let's throw you some of these numbers. Wrist spinners between them, 33 wickets at an average of approximately 15. That's a combined average. They gave Virat Kohli a wicket every three overs and bowled at an economy rate of 4.8. But more than anything else, but Kuldeep Yadav and Yajwendra Chahal revolutionized the middle overs. India's problem always was they were not taking wickets in the middle overs and so the opposition was set, there was carnage in the back 10. Yajwendra Chahal and Kuldeep Yadav get a 9.5 out of 10 and may they long continue to bowl like that. But was it just the spinners? But the editor said, look beyond the wrist spinners, was there somebody else and he's thrown me a name and I'm very happy he has because I really do want to point out his role and that is Jaspreet Bumrah. Eight wickets, strike rate 31.5, but look at that economy rate in the modern game to go through a series against the number one ranked side in the world before the series began at an economy rate of 3.97 is fantastic. Jaspreet Bumrah is Virat Kohli's go-to bowler and I have no hesitation in giving Jaspreet Bumrah a 9. And then as usual, the editor says, look at Virat Kohli and I, I messaged him back and I said, what do I say about Virat Kohli that I haven't said before? But he said, look, this is a series review. You've got to give points. So here we go with Virat Kohli. 558 runs at an average of 186. An average of 186. Most people are happy to just make 186 runs. 
three centuries and a 50 dominated the series like nobody has before nobody in the history of one day cricket has scored as many runs in a bilateral series and Kohli just went out and said you know what this series is about me and he looked around and said right which of you is going to get me out and nobody put their hand up I have rarely seen batting as dominant as this. South Africa tried to bounce him in the last game and Kohli said, thank you very much. That's what I was waiting for. Then in another game, they had two slips and they said, right, let's try and get him out uh, in, in the slip cordon. He started to move across and hit the lofted shots on the onside. When conditions got a little trickier, he made 160 from 159 balls. No one else was scoring runs, but 100 of those were run. And then in the last game, when the conditions became easier to bat, he had 17 boundaries only in the first 100. And that showed enormous variety. And so, Virat Kohli gets 10 out of 10 to Virat Kohli. I don't know if I'll ever do another 10 for Virat Kohli, but I'll tell you what, this series in South Africa was, was made memorable by the quality of that batsmanship.